So right now, sitting here, clocking in, in the radio station where I do my thing on air. And um, we meet my best friend, who's holding the camera right now. Say hi, I'm Keena. Hi. hi. <laughs> so we're sitting here talking about Razzie, you know, and I'm sorry. I'm, I don't like Razzie. I don't like Razzie because, you know, I know everybody's talking about him and like he's molested and you know, all of that. I don't, first of all, I don't even believe that that's even true. I don't believe that Razzie was molested because I think that for one, if you were molested, wouldn't you be more, because the way he tries to put everybody else out there, I don't think that it's true. I don't think that, you know, if you were really molested, why would you want to put everybody else out? Why would you even know that it's a sensitive subject for you? So why would you put somebody else out there because you feel like, you know, I don't know what he was feeling. I just think that he's whack for that. And I don't think, think he was molested. I think he's hoaxing everybody. I think he's a fucking liar and he's making money. He's making a mockery out of people that really were molested, you know, that are really molested. And on top of that, he want to get into it with Chris Brown. Like, get a life. Like, really, <laughs> Raz B, you're nobody. B2K Records, Raz B. B2K is not coming back. Let it go. <laughs> it's okay. You're a failure. It's okay. It's all right. You can find something else to do with your money. You know, it's like he's a lame. Like, and then his brother, Ricky Romance, just swear he's a thug. You're not a thug. What thug do you know? Put a YouTube, a, a world star hip hop video up talking about I'm looking for Chris Brown. I don't know no thugs that give warnings. <laughs> if they're coming for you, they're coming for you. It's no warning. We don't do YouTube videos talking about we don't come get you. For what? It's like, and then, 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 I fuss with Chris Brown. Chris Brown be on Twitter like, yeah, I'm in LA. <laughs> <laughs> he, just be, he be tweeting that shit like, yeah. I'm in L.A. Oh, y'all, I'm in L.A. just chilling on this and this road. Nigga, you not finna get that nigga. Like, come on, bro. Really? Nobody cares about Rasby. And, like, Rasby, he be trying to go solo so bad. I feel bad for him. He, Chris Brown put up a video of Rasby trying to perform a solo performance. And the only song that he could do was Uh-Huh. And it's like all he could do was dance because he ain't got no parts. <laughs> So I was like, damn, like, nigga, I know that, you know, times is hard, and, you know, just gonna be a stripper at a gay club, it's fine. I mean, it's a lot of them in Atlanta. You do great. You know, gay pride, woo, -woo you know. We have a great gay population. I just think he's gay. I don't think he was molested. I don't think none of that. I think he was willingly, openly having sex with men. Period. And his brother is probably a part of it, too. I think his brother's gay, too. Because, to me, the things he do is not manly. It's like things that men don't do. So, I think his brother's gay, I think he's gay, I think all of them are gay. So, at the end of the day, all of them should just take a bunch of pills and just die slow. <laughs> Eat some of that snap crackle pop candy and chug down some Coca-Cola, let your insides explode. Yeah. I don't like them, so, if I, I could never be no dude and like, roll up on Razzby. Like, I would slap the shit out of him if I was a nigga. And if I was Rad J and if I was Chris Brown, Boog don't like him, Fizz don't like him, Omarion don't like him. Like, you fucking up your money. You want a B2K to get back so bad that you started B2K Records. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> really, Razzby? Get it together. Get you a life. Just really? I just don't like him. And I think that anybody that supports him, like, that really believes that shit, like, really thinks that he was really molested, really, until you show me some footage of somebody making you take it in the booty, not openly, willingly. I mean, and then Chris Brown made a good point. He said, you know, you've been quiet when the money was coming in, but if you really was against it, why you just didn't come out and say something? And why is, and then he came out one time and apologized, and then came out and said he was lying, just to come out again and say that he wasn't lying. That's Raz retarded. B, make up your mind. Either you were molested or you wasn't. Yeah. That's and even crazy. if and, and even to me, if I was molested, ain't no amount amount of money for me to come out and say that I was lying. If it's mm -hmm. the truth, it's the truth. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? So I think a nigga be lying. Everybody believe in his lying ass. And I mean, I just think he's gay. I'm sorry. That's the truth. That's just how I feel. Gay ass nigga. I mean, it's nothing wrong with being gay. If you're openly gay, that's cool. I have people issues with folks that deny it. And that, you know, it's nothing wrong with it. If you're gay, just be gay. It's okay. We'll embrace you in Atlanta. We'll love you. Just come here and be a drag queen. That'd be awesome. And perform B2K songs. <laughs> That'd be, like, great. I'm so serious. I'm not even playing. Like, imagine performing, like, uh-huh and full-out drag. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think that'd be hot? That'd be, that'd be different. Him and Miss Sophia from Beyonce. <laughs> Girl, they could start a group together. That'd be dope.
I'm so serious. Rather me could be the lead singer. I know that's his <laughs> ambitions and his dream was to be the lead singer. Never quite happened to be 2K, but hey, it is what it is. I'm not saying, you know, I don't know what happened in that situation, but I don't think that's quite it. I believe there's three sides to a story. His side, their side, and the truth. And in the end, we may never know. So, I don't think you should keep telling those dick and the booty stories. And I think we should just drop it. So, with that being said, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com backslash ATL underscore bombshell. Dropping bombs 24 7, 24 7. <laughs> but uh, I will be back on air in the spring 2011. Arson is radio with DJ Geronimo. Follow him at Twitter, twitter.com backslash at DJ Geronimo. So, yeah, I'm out this thing. Like I said, fuck Rasby and all his whole little clip. I really don't like him. So, anyway, shout out to pitchagame.com. You know, check out my column when it comes out January. Well, it is January 2011. And Fish Street, ENT, Rich Kid Shouty. You know what I'm saying? All that. All right. You can stop the camera now because I'm done talking about it.